As we head into Bengals season, local health care providers have a few important reminders about football parties and COVID-19. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains why. Hey there, everybody. What would football be without the get togethers with friends? And as those move indoors, I don't want to put down the party, but providers remind us COVID's not over. COVID's not over. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'm with you. I want to, I want it to be over, but it's not over and it may not be over for some time yet. That means, according to Dr. Melinda Butch Kovacic, a few steps right now as we begin our tailgating traditions and game day parties can keep you well all season. Step one, get the new bivalent booster if it's been more than two to four months since your last COVID-19 vaccine. Data from the CDC released today shows that unvaccinated adults were more than 10 times more likely to be hospitalized during the height of the Omicron outbreak compared to those who were both vaccinated and boosted. <coughs> Step two, stay home if you're sick. If you have symptoms of COVID, stay at home. I mean, it's a real easy to say, oh, I just have a sore throat. It's probably just a cold. But if you really do have COVID and you go out, you're exposing other people. Finally, step three, pay attention to party air. Circulation tends to be better outdoors compared to inside. That said, Dr. Justin Kobe of Cedarville University reminds us socialization is also a good thing for your immune system and fighting infection. Take all the precautions that you need to. Uh, but go out and enjoy your life. We hope you enjoy the game. We'll throw it back to you.